Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Photopea tutorial. I'm be showing you guys how you can make a Roblox logo that looks like this in Photopea with just a few steps. It's super easy, so just follow along and there's also project links in the description below if you guys want to just get this as a template. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so first things first, you wanna go to a new project, type in 800 by 800. Hit create and in the description there will be a link to the background I'm using in this tutorial so go down there if you want it. It's just a Roblox city that looks like this. Now it's going to be a little too big so I'm going to hit control alt T to resize it. I'm going to hold shift while I drag the corner and I'm just going to make it big enough to fit the square like this and then I'm just going to center it like that. And then hit that check mark once you're done. Now what we're going to do is get our text. Type in whatever letter your YouTube name starts with. So I'll just do a C. And now I'm going to make the size about 500 or maybe like 700. Change the font up here to ORI. This one right here and just move that to the center of your picture. If you hold control, or actually you don't even need to hold control, if you just drag it to the center or close to it, there'll be red lines that'll pop up and you'll know exactly when you hit the center right here. Now hit control J to duplicate this layer. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're going to want to click on the bottom one, change the blend mode to overlay. First hide the top layer with this little eye so you can see here, double click on it or just select it. Change the color to white. That way it'll look like this. Now what you're going to want to do is unhide that top layer now. Turn the fill to 0%. Double click on it. Go to stroke. So now you can see there's a stroke around it. Change the stroke to white and turn it up quite a bit to about 18 and now you can see it's kind of hard to see it but we're going to fix that right now so what you're going to want to do is actually blur the inside right here and around it depending on what letter you go with it's going to be different so click on your blur tool over here on the left side if you hold alt and hold right click and drag your mouse you can adjust the size like that so make it where it's big enough to fit in most areas and you can just shrink it when you get to smaller areas. So up here, change the strength to about 50. Oh yeah, make sure you're on your background layer. So click on your background layer when you do this and just start holding left click and dragging your mouse around the parts that aren't blurred. But stay away from the inside of the text because we wanna keep that how it is. So once you blur a good portion of it, now I gotta get into the smaller area like that. So now you can see it's blurred around all the text, but the inside is still good. Now what we're going to do is click this new layer button and then go over here to the adjustment layer, click color fill and make sure the color is black and hit OK. Now drag this right above your background layer if it's not already. So you can see it's right on top and now just adjust the opacity. Turn it down to about 30%. So it'll make the background dark and it'll still be bright on the inside. It's a really cool look. I really like it. And that's all there is to it. It's super simple to do, like literally a few clicks and you got it done. And it looks really nice as well. So you could just do this technique on a banner as well. So you could have matching banner and logos. This will all be in the description below, like I said earlier. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe. Check out my scary gaming channel down in the description below if you like scary games. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.